Welcome to update number six. Just a quick overview of what we're going to be doing. Castle update, Luhu, T blank blank, E blank blank, Angels, the boat, and I'm going to save the next page for later because that's that's some good stuff. Right here, we're going to start off with Brickwood Diner. The menu, tables, very nice, very nice. The kitchen, they have, this is one night, this is another night, and it's, it's good, it's good food. And then downstairs is more of a comfortable booth, and another menu. But it also have a chandelier, so that's kind of cool. That's really all in this. That's not, not much, I'm just doing piece by piece of the castle. It'll, it'll be cool. But now we're at one, two, three, four buildings. And Lou T8. The end. Uh, I kind of quit on this. So now I have a big golden field. Maybe if you want to, in the comments, just kind of say what I should do with it. Because. I'm literally running out of ideas. It's tough. Coming up with a bunch of ideas all the time. We have a bunch of things. Like that building's new, there's a building over there new. That'll be in the next update. Because I'm kind of lazy. I only can do the Oh my gosh, I forgot to do this. Look, 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 it's a base. Fires off arrows. Oh no, that's that's not chest. Hmm. <laughs> My friend must have done that. Silly. First of all, anvils. My friend decided he likes anvils, so he put them everywhere. Time set zero. Make it daytime. Just a lot of stuff. This we'll get into the next. It's it's kind of funny because it's a fireworks factory. But the next one's going to be called the explosive seventh update. It's funny. But the next one, the boat. It's a boat. The garden in a tree and a carts and it's just kind of weird. And uh, yeah, it's it's the boat. Next one, the Ninja Dojo. <laughs> this one is good. There's a lot of stuff to this, but it's well worth it. There's a reason why it's why it's so long to get to the Ninja Dojo because it's a Ninja Dojo. First, you have to climb, you have to jump across this. Except normally, you don't fall. Okay, yeah, you jump across those, <laughs> and then there's three options: that way, that way, that way. That way, you press a button and explode. That way, you fall into lava. We'll go this way. I'm just that much of a ninja that I already know this stuff. Oh, it's a dead end lava ahead. Just kidding about the dead end. There's no dead end. And water. You know, I like water slides, so we'll go down the water slide. Because everyone loves one water slides. We aren't we having fun? Oh. Then I'll speed it up. Huh, iron. Yeah. Then we come to the leap of faith. We made it. We made it across the hardest part. Funny. And then 
We make it to the Ninja Dojo. We'll start here. We're gonna be here for a while. There's the sleeping quarters. Not much, just a few stuff. There's uh, carrots, there's all that stuff. There's eating. You make, you cook your own food, because there's no cooks here. We just put the food out. And then back here is a leap of faith to make it into the Ninja Dojo. And up there is Battle Arena. Decided to make it a little shorter. Just because it's not quite as... It's not a, a super exciting thing. And then, we have to go all the way back. All the way up that water slide. Normally you have to go like this, but you know, we speed it up. And we're back at the waterfall. Except this, oh my gosh, there's another sign. Take right and float up three blocks. Pretty magical. And then you come right here. Climb up here, you fell right there. And you climb up this way. That's pretty much all for the Ninja Dojo. And for the final one, a third hotel. Yes, I am proud to say I will be doing a third hotel. I do have the Emerald Hotel, right about there. I have the End Hotel. In the end. There's another world, though. One more world. The Nether. Right here. Open as soon as possible. Future site of the Brick Oven Hotel. Stop. Construction ahead. Pretty exciting. I swear it's gonna be right about here. You walk through this. Lava on top of your head. It's a cool picture area. Not much. One little off side thing is I figured out recently that I have one of these things right next to our spawn. Goes, there's a lot of spawners there. It's quite cool. But I don't feel comfortable in the nether. So that will pretty much round up our update. That's basically all. Goodbye, and I'll feed you